And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. On fourth down, gone. Looking to side for once, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Eagles' defense gets a pick six TD. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. And this is no good. It's a missed extra point. Boy, in a tight game, how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along? They hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, they were a little too excited to get the football, touched it before it went 10 yards. And that's so difficult, isn't it? Because sometimes it can just take a bad hop and veer into your lane or into your body. In this case, though, they touched it before 10. Illegal touching is the call. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Stand inside the 30. Throw left side, complete to Cup. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Eight yards to go here on second down. A shotgun snap for goal. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the gun on third down, gone. His throw caught right around the six. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here comes the D swarming to the line. From the gun, here's Gone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Robert Woods from four yards out. And the Rams have taken the lead here in the fourth. A big play coming now for the Rams as they'll go for two. To the air again. Gone. 
And his pass incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. Over the middle to Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A very solid gain of 27. On first down, he'll drop to throw. They set up the screen to a J. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. And now he'll let this one go deep. Back up. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Tremaine Johnson. And he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. <laughs> Throwing now. Go off. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. They'll try a handoff right with Gurley. And he's brought down after a good game. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. down and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47 and yeah, give him four yards there it'll be second and six well if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there they sold out to stop that running play i'd say keep that in mind they want to try that again go play action hit them over the top And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now the defense definitely showing blitz here. Golf. And this is incomplete. Cooper Cup was his intended target. And now it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. The Rams on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This will be third and six. Now gone. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And a 
timeout here. Timeout taken, whistles blown. Timeout taken by the receiving team. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They go ahead and snap it. Go on. And no, it's incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. They're down here in a one-score game, but the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences, and this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity, they've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Forced out to his left. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Room to run inside the 40. And he is out of bounds, just a yard or two shy of the 30. <laughs> Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Back to throw. This will be caught inside the 10. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. He's back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different. We got three. Three down. Three down. Hey, fellas, we got three. Let's
Let's go.